Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now March 28th of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about the Star Wars sequel trilogy that a lot of fans, including myself, had a big issue with was, of course, exactly how the character of Luke Skywalker was used by Disney and Lucasfilm, especially by writer and director Ryan Johnson of The Last Jedi, and how that ultimately led to, of course, a lot of problems with the Star Wars community. You know, we do know that the major problems with Luke and The Last Jedi ultimately led to the backlash against that movie, and how that also led to the soloist Star Wars story box office results and it was just an epic you know domino effect and this is something that a lot of fans really wish to be on a more positive note where Luke Skywalker could have been done in a better way. Now, with that being said, we do know that Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe, in case you guys have no idea what this is. The new universe is actually said to be a combination of movies, TV shows, comics, books, novels, you name it, even video games. It's all going to make up this new universe that's going to be modeled after the MCU, which really is going to be quite interesting to see exactly how it all pans out throughout the entire decade. Now, with that being said, obviously Disney's new CEO, Bob Chapek, is very hard at work on really making major changes over at Lucasfilm, including working on this new expanded universe. Now, with that being said, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films as well as their new Star Wars universe. Now, it's noted that currently both Disney and Lucasfilm are developing a series of TV shows to come on Disney+, Plus, as well as movies that will make up the entire new Star Wars universe. However, it's explained that the new Disney CEO, Bob Chapek, has a plan in place in order to bring Luke Skywalker back to life. It's noted that Bob Chapek is given the creative control over to Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau to tell a new tale in the new Star Wars universe, where Luke Skywalker will in fact come back to life temporarily speaking by using the power of the wills to help Rey rebuild the new Jedi Order. This is said to be told in the new Star Wars universe, including the planned Rise of Skywalker animated sequel series, and in the forms of books, novels, and comics. It's noted that this is actually being done to satisfy many fans around the world and those who have had actually problems with the sequel trilogy movies. The plan is to bring Luke Skywalker back to life is actually said to be mainly done by creator Dave Filoni and that he will be handling the creative end of how it will all be done in the new expanded universe and will be inspired from George Lucas' original scripts of Return of the Jedi when Obi-Wan Kenobi came back to life on Endor. John Favreau is actually described to be handling the planning of it all and how it will be mapped out in the new expanded universe. However, Bob Chapek is said to be bringing on George Lucas, the creator himself, to come up with the actual story of Luke Skywalker coming back to life temporarily, since it was George Lucas who originally was going to bring back Obi-Wan in the original scripts for Episode 6, and will be applying those specific ideas to Luke Skywalker. George Lucas is said to begin work with Dave Filoni and John Favreau sometime in late 2020 this year, where the comics will be released in 2021, and for the sequel series to tell this in the form of a series sometime in 2022 or 23. So, what's really interesting about this, in case you guys did not know, is that originally they were going to do this for The Rise of Skywalker, and this was actually going to be a big meaning to the actual title of that particular movie, before Kathleen Kennedy stepped in during the second phase of reshoots, of course. So, the concept of bringing Luke back to life temporarily is quite interesting, because this was also another idea that was abandoned in the Star Wars Legends material. They were going to do this, but they did not actually approve it. This was also going to be done, like I say, in Episode 6, for Obi-Wan Kenobi to come back to life on Endor, where his Force Ghost would actually materialize as if he was flesh and blood and alive and well, temporarily to actually aid Luke. Now, the thing about this by George, you know, the fact that George, John, and Dave are working heavily on this and how George is going to come up with the story to tell this in the forms of books, novels, and comics, and yes, even in the form of the Rise of Skywalker sequel series. I personally cannot wait to see exactly how it's all going to be done and exactly how the fans are going to react to it all. 
On the other end of things, a lot of fans, I'm sure, are going to feel that this is just not enough, and I totally understand that. Again, this is not a movie. This is, of course, going to be for books, novels, and comics, and for an animated TV show on Disney Plus in the near future for the years to come. So, it may not be enough to a lot of fans out there, but to a lot of hardcore fans, this may just be a little tiny fix to the character of Luke Skywalker to actually give us a different side of the story by George and exactly how it will be done, you know, for the new Star Wars Expanded Universe, which I must add is going to be far larger than the old Expanded Universe in the 1990s and the early 2000s. So, with that being said, guys, let me know what you think about all this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.